How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So today we are going to take a look at the ADATA XPG Gamex S50 Lite. Now this is a PCI Express a 4 SSD, but if you look at the specs, it's only closer to a PCI Express 3 SSD. So what's going on there? Is it only marketing material where you'll rather go for it because it's PCI Express 4 uh, and it's not even close to the speeds or what's going on? So we're going to see in this video and also see how it compares to our king currently on our leaderboard the Sabrin Rocket PCI Express 4 NVMe SSD and see if it actually get a close to that. So for the one terabyte model that we have here it is retailing for around 140 dollars and then a 260 dollars for the two terabyte version that's actually around a 30 dollars to 140 dollars cheaper than the sabrent one terabyte and the two terabyte that actually means that you can buy the two terabyte and the one terabyte for the exact same price as the two terabyte as sabrent so is it actually a trade-off that you would personally go for rather get a bit of slower speeds but a lot more storage let me know down in the comments below which one you would actually prefer so it does seem that the asf50 is a more of a budget friendly pizza express for ssd but what's the catch though, as it only is a bit faster than the standard PCI Express 3 SSDs. So we're gonna see what's going on. But first, let's talk about how the SSD actually looks, because some of them can look kind of a bit ugly. And I am happy to say that the SF50 Lite does have a much more of a minimalistic look, which I do like. And it does have a very thin gun metal gray heatsink with some angular grooves cut into it. Also, I am glad to see that we're moving away from the ugly greenish PCB and instead having a more of a black color scheme. So nice going there. ADATA also claims that the heat spreader does reduce temperatures by around 20%. Although again, the heat spreader is quite a bit thin. So we'll actually just see how it performs. So then trying to push the temps as high as we could, we did run a bunch of our benchmarks and also with some our copy tests for around 30 minutes. And the highest that we saw was around 69 degrees on a nice cool day. So not bad at all. And that was also with the included thin heat spreader. So if your motherboard does have an included one, that might even be a bit a better. So there's still some room left before we hit that 75 degree thermal limit. Now I'm saying that the S50 Lite is just a bit faster than a standard PCI Express 3 NVMe but in all honesty there is a lot more going on below the surface that is actually quite impressive. So let's quickly go over some of the geeky stuff first before we get into how it performs. So for starters, ADATA used a completely new controller for the SSD, the Silicon Emotion SM2267EN. This controller has a 28 nanometer ARM Cortex-R5 CPU architecture with two cores like its predecessor, the SM2263. Now this controller has four channels to the surface of the flash and it also supports up to eight chips per channel meaning that it doesn't need as much die space neither does it consume as much power as the hotter running eight channel designs but this also means that its potential performance is roughly half that of the more powerful controllers because of the reduced channel count the controller uses and supports active state of power management autonomous power state transition and the L1.2 ultra low power mode for better efficiency. And then finally, it features the new Micron 96L TLC flash. So all right, with all of that out of the way, it just needed to go over all of the geeky stuff. Now let's get into what you guys have been waiting for, the benchmarks. So to our surprise, the SF50 did actually pretty well coming in second in most of our tests with uh, the access time actually being a bit of better than the Sabrent. But we did see that in sequentials that it was a bit slower than other uh, PCI Express 3 SSDs though. And in uh, one of the random tests, it actually beat out the Sabrent on reads and writes 
pretty impressive actually for a SSD that's so much cheaper. Now for the file transfer test, we first took a 38 gig Steam backup that we made, copied it to from, and then also made a duplicate on the S50 Lite. For the duplicate test, it only took around 33 seconds. Then we took the same file and copied it over to a, another PCI Express 4 SSD, which took around 23 seconds. And lastly, we copied it back to the S50 from the other SSD, and that took only 29 seconds. But then we also took a bit of a larger file at around 113 gigs and did the exact same test again. So for the duplicate test, that took seven minutes and eight seconds. The copy test, it took one minute and 33 seconds. And then lastly, copying it back to the S50, that took around four minutes and 17 seconds. So with our file transfer test, we did see that the speeds drop significantly once we fill up the cache, which is a bit unfortunate. It. So for the larger files, it does slow down after a while. So then pretty much in conclusion, the S50 Lite is a quick, a cheaper option to go for. Now it's not as fast as some of the other PCI Express 4 SSDs, but it does get close enough at a very good price point. And with the new Micron 96L TLC flash and a much greater bandwidth potential on the latest PCI Express 4, the XPG S50 Lite shows us just how fast the silicon motion are budget orientated for a channel the controller can get uh, with our with the latest tech. Now the S50 Lite isn't as good as the Cyber Rocket in uh, NVMe PCI Express R4, but again, it's much much cheaper. Almost being able to buy again a two terabyte and a one terabyte for the exact same price. So definitely a good option if you're looking for something a bit more budget orientated, especially because the newer Intel platform will also be featuring PCI Express Four. So might be a very good option if you're looking for a budget PCI Express Four NVMe SSD. So big thanks to A Data for sending it over for a review. If you guys want to get it for yourself. I will leave links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed this review, please like, share, recover, and comment like always. And I'll check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.